Hello again, this is Nakumba Gerard of Edumath. In this video, we are going to see how to inscribe a circle on a triangle. And if you are new here at Edumath, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Inscribing simply means drawing a circle inside the triangle such that it touches the three sides of the triangle internally. So let's get started with this guiding question. Using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, but as says construct a triangle PQR such that PQ is equal to QR and everything is equal to 8.5 centimeters. And the angle Q is 120. Okay. Now, first we need to draw a sketch before the actual diagram comes in. So we need a sketch and the angle Q should be 120 degrees. And have a sketch here with the Q being an angle of 120. So this should be Q, and you can clearly see that this angle is beyond 90 degrees. And I have here my P, PQ is 8.5, QR is also 8.5. Yeah, so a sketch is done. Now we need to have the accurate diagram. So we first draw our reference line. And on this reference line, we need to measure off the length of 8.5 centimeters, and that will make PQ. So we get our compass. We need to measure off 8.5 centimeters. Okay. There, we make that arc. So this is point, this point P, this point Q. In between here we have 8.5 centimeters. Now, at Q we need an angle of 120. So 120 can be got, but after drawing an angle of 60 degrees. So this side we are going to draw 60 degrees and whatever will remain will be uh, an angle of 120. So we make that arc. Then we shift our compass without adjusting to that arc. And we draw another arc which intersects there. Get a ruler and a join. Now, point R lies 8.5 centimeters along this line. And before we measure off the length of 8.5, let's confirm our angle. Yes, we can see that uh, when you use the in inner scale, this angle is 60, and the outer scale gives us 120. This one is 60 degrees, and this other angle is 120 degrees. Then we get our ruler to measure of 8.5, which helps us to identify where point R is. So there we go. Now we need to make an arc along this line. That will help us to identify where point R is. There we go. So point R is where this arc intersects with a line there. So next we get our ruler. We join P to R. So that's our triangle. P, Q, R. This is 8.5 centimeters but a is done but b says draw the in circle of the triangle pqr and measure its radius now to draw the in circle we need to bisect any two angles of our choice so we are going to choose we're going to choose angle p and the angle q angle p and the angle q we bisect them let's have our compass back here you can see by a Bisecting angle Q here, yeah. so we make an arc there, turn our compass, make this up here. Then we use these two arcs to draw more than two arcs, which we have to intersect. So we're going to draw this arc side, shift our compass to this other arc here. So we can see the point, this point, and this point form their arc meeting at this point here. So we get our ruler and we join point Q 
and where the arcs are meeting. Next, we need to bisect angle B. Look at our compass back, bisecting angle B. Draw that arc. So you can use these two arcs here to draw other two arcs inside here, which will intersect. Without adjusting your compass, you shift it to that point. You draw that arc there. Now we get a ruler and join. So there we go. Now where the two uh, bisectors are meeting, this qualifies to be the center of our circle. Then we get our compass back. Before we draw the circle, we need to drop a perpendicular from point O to any side of your choice. So this is like dropping a perpendicular from a point outside the, outside the line. A video about that is going to be linked in the cards app. So I'm going to choose to drop a perpendicular onto line PR, this side here. So we're going to drop a perpendicular from the center onto there. Then we are going to use this other two arcs here to draw more other two arcs which are going to intersect. So we have that. Shift our compass to this other arc. Another arc there. Then we get a ruler and we join. So we join the center where the two arcs will be intersecting. Okay, they are like that. Now the radius of our circle is that distance from the center O to where this perpendicular bisector meets that line PR. So we stretch our compass like that. And we are going to draw a circle. Remember it has to touch all the sides of the triangle internally. So having centered it like that, we draw our circle there. Okay. So it has to touch all the three sides of the triangle internally. And there we achieved it. That is our circle. Now we need to go ahead and measure the radius of the circle. So the radius of the circle is this, the radius of that compass there. So I'm just going to shift the compass onto this ruler and take the reading. We shift the ruler up here, along here. Okay. So I need to take the reading from here. So the radius there is two centimeters. Okay, radius is going to be two centimeters. Question in part C says calculate the area of the in circle. Okay, so area of the circle is equal to pi r squared. Area here is going to be equal to twenty two all over seven times two power two. So area here is equal to 12.57 to the small places. And we are done. Now for more interesting videos, subscribe at Edimath. And also recommend the channel to your best friends. For today, thank you very much and God bless you.